One of the first lessons that they uh, teach you are giving you a small, very simple mission in which you pretend to be someone else. I was in the street and my instructor showed me a passing taxi. He uh, told me, see the number of the taxi? I said, yes. I said, okay. Taxi disappeared and he told me, in two hours you meet me at this and this corner and you bring me the name and the address of the taxi driver. And of course I could not use the internet, of course no police, no official office, because I, I was supposed to pretend I'm a tourist. And I thought, what, will I, what should I do? So I started to go from one taxi station to the other, asking people if they know this and this car, with this and this number, and uh, because I forgot something, it is very important that I find this taxi driver because I forgot something in his car. So they start calling each other, finding out, and then there was another helpful guy who was willing to take me to the house of this taxi driver, which he did. And I fulfilled my mission. I was the only one from the people who were in training with me who brought uh, the information back. When you want to recruit someone for an undercover mission, you're looking for certain traits. First of all is the ability to play act and to impersonate someone else. If you don't have that, then all the rest is uh, immaterial after that. And if you have to work undercover in an enemy country, your cover has to be perfect. When people suspect you, it can become very unpleasant and very dangerous. And you have to have an identity of a real person a person that is living somewhere with a real name, with a real history, and uh, this is the life that you learn. You pretend to be that person, and then, of course, you add some other things and other traits because it has to suit you. So you go to the place where this person is supposed to live. You learn the area. You live there for a while. You take a room in a hotel, let's say, and every day you walk to a different place until you feel that you know the area very well because the, this person is supposed to have been uh, raised there. So you learn as much as possible. And when you don't know a detail, you find in the area a detail that is uh, good enough for it. For instance, you don't know exactly the school they went to, but there is a school in the area, so this is the school you, you mention when you are being asked. You really have to, to believe that you are this other, other person. Oh, one very important thing to act while being interrogated is never be aggressive, never be conceited, never show that you are too sure of yourself. Uh, be humble, be nice, be friendly, be naive even, pretend to not understand too much, and uh, act natural towards the situation as if it was something completely natural that everybody else is, is going through. And if he starts to like you because you're nice, and uh, maybe if you, he can feel even sorry for you that you're maybe a bit scared or frightened, and then he's on your side. He does not want to break you. You have to really to act very carefully so as not to bring him to a place where he wants to show you who is the stronger of the two. <sighs> Whenever you go into a place, into a store or something, you are all the time watching for escape routes, just in case. It becomes part of your nature, like, uh, like noticing people around you, noticing who is watching you, who is talking to you. You just, you're more alert than people usually are. If worse comes to worse, you have an escape plan. Of course, you have a set of uh, clothes that are completely different. You change your appearance, you change your papers, and you take a car and you cross the border. Or uh, you have uh, an aircraft coming to rescue you. Or you go out to sea and wait for it to be rescued. Or you are helped by another agency in the area who smuggle you out of the country. There are many different ways to do that. You're always prepared to grab your things, the, the bare necessities that you need for this, and just uh, disappear from the area.